Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Jeremiah. I'm here to talk about using ProPricer Connect for Excel. All right, I have a template here ready to show you a demo on it. So we have ProPricer Connect for Excel installed, and when it's installed, you'll have the ProPricer tab up at the top. Um, you'll just click on Connect to ProPricer, and that'll grab information from your proposals. You'll have to log in with your ProPricer username and password. Click OK. And once you are successfully validated with your username and password, you'll get the list of proposals you have access to. In this case, I'm going to grab Advanced Tanks version 1 here. And then I'm going to grab a few items from it and going in, down the list here. I'm going to grab general proposal data information first, uh, things about my company and uh, about uh, the proposal itself. So under company name, I'm going to grab the business unit because that's where it is in the general, general proposal data. Then under the uh, contract line item for this report, I'm going to go and grab it from tasks, switch over to the contract line item, and then add one AA. That's what I want. I'm going to go grab the uh, RFP or RFQ, request for proposal, request for quote from the GPT, and process that. That'll pull it in from ProPricer. Grab our contract type, pull it in from ProPricer. So basically anything in your general proposal data you can pull in rather quickly. And now I can populate the report based off of my contract line item I want to use. So I'm going to grab the total labor at dollars uh, for this. I'm kind of skipping material at this point and uh, just filling, the, filling this report out for total labor. So I'm going to grab the Contract line item again for this item. I could have multiple ones in here if I want to, but one is fine. Then for the hours field, I'm going to use, scroll down a little bit here, I'm going to use labor. So it focuses on all of my labor, and then I'm going to grab hours for labor. And when I select the plus button, it's going to go to my proposal and pull out the 300,000 hours for, la for labor being estimated. Uh, dollars now I can put down so I'm gonna go ahead and grab costs for dollars from the same drop down drop that into dollars that fit here okay and then I'm going to add overhead for that so labor overhead and it's pulling from labor for contract line item 1aa drop that in and then the subtotal for these two uh, would be the next alg algorithm element. In this case, for us, it's subtotal. But you should be pretty familiar with your algo by now. So total dollars plus overhead is my total price. Now I'm going to throw on the grand total price without showing any of my profit or anything else. There we go. Now we don't show my indirects and um, ro rolled everything up. And this pulls directly from my proposal inside of ProPricer. These numbers automatically update. And that's the great thing about using Connect for Excel is now that when my proposal changes, so I'm gonna open up my proposal, I'm gonna add another, um, for contract line item 1AA, I'm gonna add another, say 100,000 hours of uh, labor category assembly. Okay? Spread that evenly across my period of performance. And then flip back to Connect for Excel and update from proposal. So we update from proposal and now there's my extra 100K of hours, total dollars, uh, total overhead uh, combined of both of those, as well as the total price, all put together nice, neat, and quickly. If you're interested in purchasing or finding out more information about Connect for Excel, just click on the closing screen. Let us know your contact info and we'll be in touch with you shortly. I encourage you to check it out to save some time and energy and get in and out of pressure quicker by using Connect for Excel. Thank you for watching and have a great one.